Okay, so here we are, folks. I am doing, uh, redoing my uh, my web my web uh, web app Tableau review because I have uh, some new equipment here. So I'm going to try to make the review look a little nicer, a little cleaner. We're going to go ahead and connect. I'm here at my Tableau uh, my .tableau -tv .com, and you hit connect. Connects to the Tableau on your network. It automatically knows if you're in the same network where to go, and it's probably going to dump me into the uh, live TV grid mode. We're just waiting on it here. It's a little longer than usual. It doesn't usually take a long. It did fail. It actually failed to connect, which I have had happen from time to time from the web interface. So I'm going to reconnect again, and I'm expecting it to go through. It usually doesn't fail more than one time. I had an issue uh, once where it actually didn't connect. I had to reset the unit, and um, found that odd. It's not something that I've seen, and now it's doing it again. For some reason, it looks like I'm not able to connect. Gonna have to cancel the video in a second if it keeps doing this. Okay, so it looks like it finally went in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let the video stand, uh, even with that error there, so that you can get a realistic look at what happens there, and I will be contacting tech support about that issue. It, I've noticed it uh, have issues with connecting more from the web app than the Roku. Again, the one issue I had from the Roku was a one-time thing. Actually, it wasn't from the Roku, it, was just, it just wouldn't connect at all. Everything was shutting down right away. Uh, but tech support said that they are aware of the issue. It did happen a couple times uh, in the last four months of testing and that they are actively looking into it. So having said that, probably not a good start off there. But you know what, I'd rather do a, a genuine review uh, than one that's kind of hokey or I pad it because I do like the service and I am, good, I am rooting for the company. Let's, it dumps you into your live TV shows here. So these are all the TV shows that I can watch. Okay, These are all TV shows that are going to be coming on the next two weeks that I can watch. These are the ones here that are new. I switch the tabs. These are the ones you see, it's got the scroll down. These are the ones here that are premiering. And these are the, uh, the shows here that this is by genres. You can um, kind of pick uh, by genres, it populates them here. You know that's gonna be subjective, right? So you never know um, with, with your genres, um, you know, whether or not you're, you're, you would agree with how they're categorized. I don't really use that. And by channels, which is very useful. If you know there's something on a specific channel, you can't remember what it's called or what day it comes on. You just navigate to the channel. Right now it's on channel four and you find it. Let's go over here in the menu. Let's go to live TV. Let's jump right in because because you're here to watch some TV, right? Um, I'm going to dump you into the worst looking channel right away, which is channel seven. I'll explain why later. But just to so give you an idea of the worst things I've looked in a, uh, in HD for me. When you click on a channel, there it gives you the care the 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 the, 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 um, the cover art and the info. You get to see more of that cover art now. Why they choose what they choose, I don't know. That's obviously um, if you guys know Comedy Central, you know who that is. Uh, why he's there for the middle, I don't know, but I still think it's hilarious because I'm laughing just looking at him. Like, isn't he's funny? Anyway, um, we're gonna go to season two, three, four. It tells you all the seasons that you're able to uh, record in the next two weeks, which are quite a few. Obviously, some of these are gonna be first time airings. Some of these aren't. Okay, and um, it's great if you can back up here. You can go right into live TV in the middle, and we're gonna do that. And then this is channel seven. Um, I'm not in full screen mode because in full screen mode you get weird artifacts that occur when you bring the mouse cursor up here. Tableau, I don't know if you know about that because I'm assuming you're going to watch this review. Um, but there are artifacts that occur in Chrome in full screen mode, so I'm not using that because it really doesn't do the service justice. I know. I haven't decided if I'm going to let you in yet. Really? You're going to drive all the way to Chattanooga and not let me in the car? Um, in live TV, you can um, you can adjust the volume, you can pause like that, but you cannot rewind, you cannot fast forward from the web interface. On the Roku, you can, and from the um, I'm assuming from the iPad app, which looks similar to what you see here, and the Android app, which looks similar to what you see here, you can. And again, I'm just focusing on the web app, so I'm gonna leave that at that. I'm pausing this instant. Which is really great. Why you can't dive back in and rewrite? I don't know. I don't understand that. Uh, that's something that I hope they, they work on. So there's an example of live TV. You have your guide here, and you can record, choose to record shows from the, directly from the guide. For example, let's say I want to uh, record the KTLA uh, morning news. I get to click here. I can go to info. It's going to bring me up all the times I can record it. I can choose to record all or new, or um, all new or all, or individually. And it's, it's, it's pretty fast. Uh, in fact, to give you an idea of how long it takes to prime it up, I just I say record all. You hit that, that's going to circle, that's going to turn orange, and then a couple seconds later, these are going to turn orange. There you go. And if I choose to not do that, I just click this, and it cancels those recordings. And a, sec a couple seconds later, these should all go blue again. There you go. 
fantastic. This only goes out 24 hours though. I was kind of confused about this. It only goes out 24 hours. On 24 hours. Why they do that, I don't know. Uh, you notice that some of these shows here have um, little markings. That tells you what's scheduled to be recorded from the guide. You can also scroll the guide down uh, from, is it the bar here? It's the bar here. There it is. Okay. Now, leaving the guide, we can go into um, the other category. This is prime time. This would be a list of shows that occur just in prime time by all new genres or channels. I'm choosing not to mess with those right now because I don't need to know just in prime time. This is, uh, this is all TV shows entirely. This is where it dumped us out in the beginning. We have movies that we can watch. A movies are can organize by genre, all channels. I think you're probably seeing a trend here. And these are all movies that are coming on TV that you can record. Sports. Sports is nice. Be, you got to be careful with sports, though, because sometimes it doesn't catch what you want. For example, there was ice skating. I set it for ice skating. And uh, it didn't catch uh, uh, Stars on Ice, which I knew to check for those. So I went ahead and checked it specifically on Channel 4, and I found it. But just be careful with sports. It may not get them all. It does the best it can. It does a pretty good job. And you can check by sports as also you can check sports by channel. I think the channels option is probably a little more efficient uh, because you can see what's going on. But nonetheless, uh, if you're a sport you're not sure, dive into the channel. Um, I would uh, actually go back over to this and go to all TV shows and then go to the channel and find it that way. Scheduled are things that you have scheduled. They have the same little icon they do in the guide. When something is scheduled, uh, you can see what, how many you have scheduled, whether you, you t chosen to do all season. Yes, General Hospital. Uh, you can do all season or you can do all new, but you can see what you have recorded. If it's a show that's in syndication, sometimes you get more than one season. I was hoping that would, and it didn't. Let me just find one that has more than one season. The signing time. Yeah, I, I don't have anything pre-recorded that has all seasons, but when, you, but when it does, what you can do is you can see it'll show you different seasons down here, and it's nice you can switch back and forth. So let's dive into recordings. Let's see how it looks when you play something that's recorded. It's going to be it's playing through my own network, not streaming through the internet, but through my own internal network. I'm going to jump um, this time into uh, channel two, something from channel two, uh, Amazing Race, and some information there. You can, when you click on the, the name, by the way, you'll see that it gives some information. You can delete the recording, recording from here. I'm going to go ahead and press play, see how long it takes to queue up. That's pretty fast, actually. Sometimes I've noticed slight video hiccups as, uh, as I'm doing. As, uh, as I'm watching it from the computer a couple times um, from the Roku but the, all of those were on channel 7 channel 7 is just it's it's not as strong and I'm going to explain why later uh, when you have recording you can dive back and forth it's very easy you can just take the, the cursor and drag it you'll notice there's no video preview though and that's going to be big for some of you and I know that's kind of a pain but for 5 bucks a month to pay for the subscription the unit is 225 and I have no other costs other than the antenna uh, which is again the one-time cost for me for about one, uh, 150 bucks. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. I'm going to turn the, the sound off so that you um, you don't uh, don't get that. Now, there's a slight video hiccup there playing back. It may or may not come out in the recording uh, when I go back, and I'm not sure if that's going to show up or not when you actually see uh, the screen capture um, of uh, of this video I'm making. So we'll see because sometimes those actually don't show up when I, the recording's done. I have not noticed those show up actually on the, um, when I watch from the TV. You notice that this is very clear video. It's very nice. This is uh, not live, but live looks just as, uh, just as good. I'm gonna back up here and go out of this episode. They do not have an indicator to show you that you've watched something, by the way. And that's something that people have already requested. And I hope the company, uh, Roku, if you're listening, oh, sorry, Roku, Tableau, if you're listening, it'd be great if you could add that feature. Um, and that's that's it. It's really it's really kind of neat um, for you to, to be able to do all this uh, from your TV and um, you know or from your from your computer or from, from, your, from your TV without having to pay the crazy subscription fees. So um, we're gonna go to settings. Settings gives you a picture of your Tableau, or a nice quality image there. It tells you which hard drive you have attached. I have a, C, a Seagate uh, backup Slim Plus, a two uh, two terabyte. You get to name your Tableau. I'm leaving my Tableau because I don't care. You get to to choose the recording quality, 720 for me because it saves less room. You can go to 1080 standard def. Anybody got time for that? You get uh, there's a feature called Tableau Connect where you can uh, hook into your Tableau from when you're not home, when you're not home, and you can uh, watch your recordings, even live TV. I have not enabled that feature. I will experiment with it as the need uh, makes itself evident. And you can re uh, decide the streaming quality. I mess with that later. You can change your postal code if you want to rescan for a different channels available in your area. This is my channel lineup. These are the channels I want. How many did my uh, Tableau find it found all of these 
You notice that the signal on those is exquisite on just about all of those. The only ones I am getting are the ones that I want are the ones that are checked. And I pick uh, English stations in which I'm interested, HD only. There are a lot of stations that are not in English, a lot that are in uh, um, non-standard def, but again, I don't have time for any of that. When you want to rescan, you hit that. If you want to add, save your changes, you say add to guide. Sometimes from the web interface, those don't stick right away. Tableau, if you didn't know that, that's another bug. Uh, sometimes you hit add to guide, it, it, it takes a while for it to update. It doesn't always catch them all. So something else I noticed. Otherwise, this is this is it. It works pretty well. I'm going to show you what some live TV looks like on channel 2. Because channel, uh, channel 7 is kind of there. Actually, no, let's do channel 4. Let's do some revolution. Okay? Let's kind of see what it looks like. Channel 4 looks good. Channel 7 is just not the best. I wanted to show you that one first so you get like the worst case scenario as far as what an HD will look like when you have decent signal. Notice that the signal on Channel 7 was also lower than the others. Channel 7 broadcasts at less power from what I understand, what my research has shown, than the other stations. So you get uh, um, not quite as great of a result. Okay? The sound is off on this, That's why, but this is, um, this is Channel 4. This is live TV. Again, I can pause it, but I cannot do anything else with it. I can unpause and pause. So there you go. That's my redo of my Tableau web interface review. I hope you liked it, Tableau, if you're watching. I uh, love your product. I hope that you guys, uh, guys and gals, you peeps, uh, keep bringing it because uh, I think this is what the industry needs because this is uh, something that we've kind of been waiting for. Simple TV, with all respect to the company, they tried, but they, uh, I think, by and large, have failed. Their second generation product was not as good as, as I think it should have been, but I hope, I, I wish the best for them, hope that they continue to do their best. And I, you know, uh, for both companies, hope they continue to do the best they can. All right, so I think we are good. Let me figure out how to stop this video here. And thank you for watching.